Hi Sunshine, welcome back to our channel. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And, and together, together we are Mad, Mad Curls. Curls. And welcome back to another Mad Curls video. Uh, this video is kind of like a part two of the other glycerin video that we just did. As you'll see by the title, this time we are talking about shampoos and conditioners and co-washes and deep conditioners. We yeah. thought we would dive a little bit deeper into the whole no glycerin thing. We didn't do this last year, but yeah. we figured for those people who might want an entire wash day of products that are glycerin free, we would just do this video. Yeah, because for whatever reason, some people do not like glycerin. We don't know if people are allergic to glycerin. Their hair reacts terribly, even if the slightest bit of glycerin is in a product. Mm -hmm. So we figured we would do this. And we often believe that it's the foundation of your wash and go or your styling your style for the day that it starts at the foundation it starts in the shower mm. so we figured this year we would just kind of bring along the cleansers and we have a selection here by quite a few different brands yeah mm -hmm. so um you touched on that people might not like glycerin because they're allergic to it also it could be mostly for us it's the seasons that in the right. summertime products that have glycerin high in their ingredients list don't really work out for us mm -hmm. um but in the winter time we don't have that issue all the products that i have here do not have glycerin in them whatsoever okay. um not um yeah, as far as the word glycerin goes, right. um, they might have a glycerin derivative, but I don't think so. Right. But um, correct me if I'm wrong on any of these, because again, I just kind of went through our products and like eyeballed it. Again, so. like we said, we want this to be kind of um, like a joint effort where we provide some of the knowledge, but you guys definitely always clean it up and bring on so much more knowledge than we know. Mm -hmm. We just have a very... Um, minimal base for the knowledge so we just try to kind of introduce the conversation and do the very best that we can and I think we're getting better at it last year we were really novices this year I think we've upped our game a little bit yeah. but um, I know that we have failed and aired in some area and so just point it out and but when you point it out bring on the knowledge that you have like why this is wrong or why this should not be included or this ingredient is actually glycerin it's just kind of like the hidden you know name like, yeah yeah right so we don't know everything but we think we try charge it to our head and not our heart yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, okay so other things um what's in our hair this is a day three of the camille rose naturals curl maker one and done we have a video on that and this is day three curl junkie pattern pusher and this was yeah we had we just did the one and done yeah right? so and these are both glycerin free yeah in the same video in the same yeah, video glycerin right free. yeah it was like um kind of like a mix it up um, one and done one and done yeah each of us doing different things yeah just kind of do something different on the channel so yeah and our shirts mine is power and black we are power and black tea um ambassadors for their t-shirts so mm -hmm. we wear their merch and so this one says nah our hair is different madam cj walker i love this, this is like my favorite so shirt i love it's it it's a great company i was just buying shirts just be buying them i would show up with them on live and lately this year since my other j crew t-shirts were threadbare i just kind of started looking for other things and i do their I feel like they're the same company. They're CMT, Teaser, the Christian site, and, and then this is the Power and Black site. So we got ambassadorship to the Power and Black site, mm -hmm. hoping to get the um, CMT ambassadorship. Yes. But anyway, that's what these t-shirts are. They're so cute, and there's this so much variety. Yeah. yeah. And yours is like Matt Curls, Curls merch. merch, and it's just kind of like one of my <sighs> moments on the channel where I just said I'm going to live on the wild side. So I wanted it on a t-shirt. Here it is. <laughs> Here it is, Wild Side. So it's both t-shirts. Yeah, <laughs> both of these shirts are in the description box. Mm -hmm. So like the links to where you can find this. This is Macros Merch, Teespring. This is Power in Black. Yeah. All right. I think that is it. Okay. So how we are doing this video is we are going by brand like we did our other glycerin videos. So we are going to take each product by brand. Okay. All right. So if you want to see the collection we have here of glycerin-free cleansers and treatments, then please keep watching. Please keep watching. Okay. All right. So the first brand that is up is... It's So Tanicles. Okay. So these are the foundation for our styler, for our style for the day. And this will be... Let's see. Do we have... Any this is a cleanser. Okay. Oh, that's why we start with the cleanser. Okay. So this is the So Tanicles ACV Anti-Frizz Cuticle a vitalizer even though acv is like we think it's apple cider vinegar mm -hmm. okay um it's clarifying hair scalp too all right clarifying shampoo right here <laughs> love this okay it's kind of like serum -y. love it all right then one of the deep conditioners is sotanicals uh shave it's shave ginger super deep conditioner okay deep conditioner this is fro despair vitamin hair repair i love this one just got onto this recently it's green. Yes, yeah, because I was looking for something because I love to. We have that one over here. We might not. I don't know. All right, but that one has those around. The whole one. This is like kind of like a green smoothie. So I love this, and replace that. Love it. So 
Did I say the name of it? This is the Fro Despair because you know guys I rave about the Afrotastic. It's not on the table, but um, this I love, and this one I like. Um, it's a to me, it's a slightly bit moisturizing, though I say I'm a loyalist, so I love Afrotastic, and I always constantly have that on, my, on the tip of my tongue when people ask for a good deep conditioner. However, I think this one might kind of eek it out slightly. Okay, and this is the Manoi Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dip. So these are two new finds that I experimented once I got my mind off of the Afrotastic. Yeah, so these are all the products that are glycerin free in these in the botanicals line. Okay, cool. All right, all right. All right. Next representing is cleansers. Cam Camille Rose Naturals. Okay. So the cleanser that we have is the Camille Rose Naturals, the lavender one, the fresh cleanse, which okay. is like my favorite product in that lavender line. I love the I love the shampoo. It was really really good. Okay. So this doesn't have glycerin in it. All right. And also from and that then line. From that same line, which is fairly new. That line. This is a quench deep conditioner. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we have the coconut water penetrating hair treatment. This is from their coconut water line. Yeah. And All like right. the stylers and stuff from that line is we showed in the other video. So basically right. the whole like coconut line is coconut water. Free. Yeah. yeah. It's glycerin okay. free. So that's Camille Rose. Camille All right. Rose. All right. And next I see on the table Alcade Naturals. Okay, okay. One of my absolute favorites. This is the LK Naturals Moisturizing Black Soap Shampoo. Once I got on this, I really too much haven't gotten off. I, of course, up to the size. That's why it's so big. It's almost gone. And um, I just love this. I buy it over and over again. You do. Then we also have the Caribbean Coconut Milk Shampoo mm -hmm. that goes along with their oops i'm trying to like show so you can see the sign still as i'm talking it goes along with their um that oh no no it's not it's not the conditioner okay <laughs> yeah. so the conditioner is not part of this all right so this is the co-wash co-wash me cleansing this is your co-wash this is their shampoo and this is another shampoo however this has a pair with the conditioner and they say to like kind of make your hair ph balanced um but however the conditioners are in here but at least you have so their so their cleansers as far as like mm -hmm. shampoos and co-washes don't have glycerin in them right okay all right, and then deep conditioners, both their deep conditioners do not have glycerin in them. The avocado cream moisture repairing mask mm -hmm. and the honey and sage deep conditioner. We had to pick one. We, we love the yes. avocado one, yeah. but neither one of them have glycerin right. in them. If we had to choose, definitely the avocado one. Okay. All right. Next we have Pearl Junkie on the table, I see. One of my favorites that I use often. Um, Sometimes I use, you know, I've been on that creme restore from Camille Rose, but this was the original. This is what started me off on co-washes years ago. I just loved it. Before I even kind of like knew what a co-wash was, I just love the Curl Junkie line, and I would just start from the condition, from the um, cleansers, co-washes, whatever. I didn't even know, kind of like I said, like what a co-wash was, but this was always been in my collection, and they even have a huge one with a pump on it that's kind of like double the size, and you get more, but um, I love this. And this is Daily Fix. This is cleansing hair conditioner. So it's their version of a co-wash. Awesome. And this is what I love. You guys know I love protein conditioners, deep conditioners. And this is called Repair Me. A little pricey. It's $29, but worth every penny, I think. Um, and so this has always been in my collection year after year for like the last 10 years. I love this Repair Me. All right. Aww. So these are right. two. That's foundational. Mm -hmm. All right. What else do we have here? All right. Next, we have Nature's Little Secret. We brought them up in the other glycerin video that we did. I basically said their entire line of products, all the products that they have are yeah. glycerin free. So this is just bringing up the rest of the line. Um, okay. Starting with the cleansers. They have a kids line. There is the vanilla bean shampoo and the chocolate conditioner. And even though this is a kids line, I use it on my hair. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. So these don't have glycerin in it. Yeah, I was using the vanilla bean shampoo before they just came out with this new one, which oh, I love. Why it's been used so much. Yep. <laughs> I loved it. This is a cucumber nourishing shampoo. Mm -hmm. Which is amazing. This is glycerin That's new. I love this. Yeah. Yes. Then I absolutely love this is the milk strengthening deep conditioner mm -hmm. with coconut and goat milk so smooth i love the way it smells to me it smells like baby powder the other things kind of have like um a food smell to them whether it's um very fruity or bakery kind of but this smells like to me like baby like baby powder okay and i just love the way it's just very very mild and, and nice and sweet so Sweet meaning like cute and nice. Mm. All right, so these two. And then there's a conditioner here, the Rose Hydrating Conditioner. This doesn't have glycerin in it okay. as well. So basically the entire Nature's Little Secret collection, all their products, none of them have glycerin in it. So definitely mm -hmm. check them out. Their cleansers, their deep conditioners, uh, and their stylers. Yep. All right glycerin. Here. Okay. All right. 
Moving on right. to, we have quite a bit of yeah. Honey's Handmade on the table. This year we recently got acquainted with Honey's Handmade, that whole company. And so we have been delving into their products. Not, maybe not necessarily like having them on the channel other than the anniversary collection, but we definitely have been trying them, liking them. So and all of these are cleansers. Here. Okay, so all right, so wow. So there's lots of the line in general just has tons of cleansers. Mm -hmm. All right. And so let's just start and with treatments. one. And treatment. Yeah. All right. So this one is the cherry almond tapioca co-wash. I love this. I love the way it smells. You know, it smells like the original Jurgens lotion scent that no one kind of could bottle or think what it was years ago if you're like around my age okay nobody kind of knew what it was and then we recently discovered that it was cherry almond and this smells just like to me the old-fashioned jurgens lotion that nobody could pin what that scent was but this is the scent okay love love this that and so we won the trip thanks to you guys you voted us in and so we got to go to florida and meet the brand owner and on her counter in the bathroom she had the cherry almond bar soap Love it. Bought it home. Love it. Use it all the time. It's fantastic. And especially because of the scent. Yeah, it does Isn't smell it? really, really good. Isn't it great? Oh, my gosh. It very I good. mean, you smell equally the cherry and equally the almond. You do. You do. You do. Okay. Yeah. Love it. All right. Then there is the Coconut Cream Infused Carrot Vanilla Co-Wash. Okay. Have we used this yet? I haven't used that no. one yet. You smell? Ooh. That smells good. It smells like vanilla. Yeah. It does have a lot, a lot of, um. what's the other... It's, Vanilla I carrot. Carrot. I carrot cake. I, sm I expect it to kind of like smell no, like carrot. Oh, carrot. Okay, no wonder. Okay, I'm thinking like carrot cake. I'm thinking like pumpkin, kind of like fallish. No, but it's mild. Okay, it smells like then what it talks about. All right, the next one I was very excited to try black soap honey avocado co wash. You know, I love black soap and I wanted the co wash to see what that was like. And oh wow, it smells pepperminty. So Ooh, I yeah, like that's, it. That's yeah, that sounds good. I like that. Are we gonna sit here and sniff everything? I think so. Probably. 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 <laughs> Wake us up. And last but not least, my absolute favorite. So glad they bought the box back, the anniversary box. I'm hoping that they will break it up eventually and you can buy things what you need because the whole box is $60, 10 products, but you can't possibly use them all. But there are favorites, there are standout products, and this was one of the standout products. So I'm glad the box is back, but I don't want to have to buy the whole box just to get this. I'm hoping eventually this will be sold separately. And this is the Sweet Potato Low Pool Co-Wash Cleansing Butter. It smells this is the scent so good. I love it. This is the pumpkin pie. In this your is hair? the sweet, oh my gosh. This is sweet. It makes me want Thanksgiving yeah. and, and your Christmas hair and is so moisturized. Like mm -hmm. that's a really good, and oh, the slip on that is amazing. It smells so, so good. good. I don't know how I feel about these little jars though. I wish things came bigger. Like mm -hmm. even though like all these jars are the same, they're all like the same size. They are. But like I want bigger. And you think that you're gonna go through them quickly. For us, at least, we are product reviewers, so we really can't. I think we just have the product junkie mindset, and we just don't want to run out of things, and we just kind of like to like to look at things and pretty much full on the shelf. I don't like when things look weird. Even as we're talking, it bugs me. Um, I don't have control over things like this, for instance, because it's watery. But if I have control over it, I always tap it on the bottom before I present it because this drives me crazy. This just, I hate this used-looking thing. Like, everything always looks brand new and shiny, all right? So if I can't... Well, doesn't that, top. like, if it shows that it's used, that means, like, they can really trust that we're using it. Like, oh, Perhaps. they used it. They said they love it so much, that thing is filled to the top. Yeah, like, because you have to know Lorianne on this channel to know that I don't like used-looking things. So everything will always look brand new in my control. All right. It will always look brand new. Like, they come for makeup artists, and they're like, oh, my gosh, I love this eyeshadow palette mm -hmm. so much. And, like, it's completely brand new. They're like, you didn't even use it. Maybe the makeup artist hasn't made it clear that she doesn't like busted-looking things. I like everything to look brand new. Well, you gotta new. use the eyeshadow. Um, yeah, but no. I would kind of like want it to look brand new all the time. <laughs> We're not done with Honey's Handmade. Okay. All right. Okay. So also from the Melba's Kitchen Collection is the Peppermint Deep Penetrating Hair Mask. This is the one I used when we did our review okay. and the, kind of the one I grabbed out of the collection and I like it. Smells very strongly of peppermint, but okay. um, I love kind Even of peppermint so in my scalp. than the black soap Yes. One? Okay. Yeah. That's straight up peppermint. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Very peppermint. Very so. if, you're, okay. if you're familiar with the Mayel... Rose up all your senses. That rosemary line with that very strong peppermint. It's like that smelling like salts. That. Yeah. Wake up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And last but not least, this is the Honey Healthy Hydration Hair Mask. Yeah, and this came with like that, I think it was like a honey trio. It came with like a shampoo, mm -hmm. um, a butter, and a deep conditioner. Okay. Shampoo. Terrible. It did not last. I went through the, like went through the whole bottle and no lather came. Like, I don't know. I'm waiting for a positive for that one. But okay. we'll hear more about that in a positive. positive. All right. Yeah. This doesn't smell too much like honey to me. It smells like, um, what does it smell like to you? 
That's like honey. Not honey. The butter, though, in that line smells like honey. It does? Okay. It got the honey. I don't know what this, what happened okay. here. What else does it have in here? Honey and what else? I don't know. Whatever else it is, that's what's overtaking the product. Yeah, but what it doesn't yeah. have is glycerin. No glycerin. It does not have glycerin. Right, so the things that we just paraded around and ad nauseum talked about them. So you guys are probably sleeping by now. Probably went and got a snack and came back. We're still talking about honey's handmade. Honey's handmade. But anyway, no glycerin. No glycerin. Okay. All right, moving on to um let me talk about jane, jane carter, carter here. i'll bang it to the top okay guys it's basically empty all right <laughs> there yes this is, this is what i mean when i say i want it to, everything to look brand new all right <laughs> girl shampoo's right. not gonna stay it's up not, there okay all right anyway this is the hydrating invigorating shampoo and this is the nutrient replenishing conditioner this is from the original line and um, jane carter new glycerin no glycerin these two offerings two okay. offerings that I see the main choice sitting over there minding its own business. Yeah, we got these at um, where do we get these at? At a at the New York New Fashion, Fashion Week. Week. Okay. Yeah, and I think I've tried them one time, and it, yes. they were nice. This whole line, the Heavenly Halo, I think was just based on treatment, like um, cleansers and masks and things like that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we I think I tried it once. This, right? I think we both did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is the deep hydration shampoo. It says herbal hair. Tonic and soy milk. Yep, and this is the Heavenly Halo Herbal Hair Tonic and Soy Milk Deep Hydration Conditioner. Okay, so shampoo and conditioner from the main choice. All right. Now, are these the only two here, or this is the only two in our that we have, or do you know anything about the rest of the line? What do you mean? Because don't forget the line is very compressed. I think they have a. Oh yeah, we don't have this. Is, this is all we have in from okay. the collection, right. and so I don't know about the rest of the collection. Yeah, so the things that we've paraded around in both of these videos, the other one that was the stylers, and in this video, we only have based on our stash. Yeah. Okay. So if anything else in the collection is there, write it down below. Just like I said, this is going to be a joint effort to um, educate Create the masses. This list. Right. Okay. All right. So we have to clear this table off and then put the other stuff on, and we'll be right back. Okay. All right. All right, so we are almost done. Okay. Um, moving on to Aussie. I feel like I haven't talked about Aussie in so long. I know. But these, I used to buy these in bulk. Um, this is the Aussie Aussie Miracle Curls line. They're co-wash and deep conditioner. I still rave about these. I still re I would still recommend these. I don't use them um, because of the silicones in the wintertime. Like, it was really making my hair dry. I think I'm going to have to try them again maybe now in the summer. Okay. Because I really used um, Aussie for years and never had an issue except for this winter when my hair was just very very dry but they're co-wash and deep conditioner the slip is unmatched like just amazing products they're like oh geez in that hair community they really are so so you use them in the shower and you used to always rave about the slip mm -hmm. so then when you, you you would get out what would you start seeing this winter my hair was dry like okay. when it dry i don't know what, when, 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 out, when it, it was when it, no when it was when it was finished drying product and it was dry like my hair was just dry okay and i would use these basically every single wash day if we weren't yeah. testing something um, if we had, say we were just doing stylers, um, I would use these two, like no matter what the stylers, like these were just always my go-to base. If like we weren't testing a shampoo and conditioner, like I really like these and I was just finding that my hair was just dry. Okay. So, um, it could be because we weren't, you know, um, hot oil treatmenting or deep conditioning enough. I don't know. I still have to test these, but I am by no means putting Aussie like on the shelf, even though right. I kind of put them in the corner this okay. winter, but, um. It's still the co-wash and the deep conditioner to me are still unmatched with slip and all that. I love these. All right. Awesome. And very similar, probably even so much down to the ingredients is here. I'm looking at the Pantene Gold Series Deep Hydrating Co-Wash. So I think it was even identical, right? Um, um and it this one and it was it was a different Pantene. Okay. Line. All right. So anyway, this whole line, the stylers were in the, our other video, uh, two of the stylers. And we love this. This is the Deep Hydrating Co-Wash. Mm -hmm. So this is glycerin free. That's a good co-wash. A little bit a more affordable Pantene Gold Series. Pantene Gold Series. All right. And also. next is As I Am, their coconut co-wash. Absolutely mm -hmm. love this. This is like an OG. Mm -hmm. And um, once I put Aussie on the shelf, I rebought this skin because this doesn't have silicones in it. And I've like refilled like, that book That just used to always just fall out of your mouth. You would always talk about that co-wash. You put so many people onto that co-wash. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's so good. All and right. it's, I feel like it's successful. Excessive. Accessible. accessible what you said mm -hmm. you can find it like, basically anywhere i love this the as okay. i am the coconut co-wash okay two thumbs up so crossing over to a little bit of gourmet line and this is in ulta now so it is accessible this is curl smith line and this is a curl quenching conditioning wash so this is your co-wash mm -hmm. and this is glycerin free and even so. though the line is a little bit like well, a lot of it, like high end. Mm -hmm. It's a really is a good co wash. It was my favorite thing from the line when I tried it, and I okay. think I think the co wash is really really good. Okay, really good co wash. Right. 
then definitely again another high end this is weed ad this is the curl emergent low lather coconut cleansing conditioner so um this has like again low lather slightly slight lather you know little bubbles few but because they also have a co-wash so this is and i like that like even with the diva though diva's not on the table but i like diva low poo mm -hmm. rather than the diva um no poo no poo yeah i don't like everything like so creamy what no poo and then the one condition it was like too many creams so i sometimes i like that kind of lathery sensation so, so you this, know like it's getting yeah, clean you see something. it yeah and then you kind of go in with creamy conditioners and all of that so i actually gravitate towards the low lather and so this is the low lather um cleansing conditioner all right and um here is a deep conditioner the jesse curl deep conditioning treatment which i rave about this here we go oh, so boring the story <laughs> i always talk about when i when i wave this around how i had protein overload last year and this mm -hmm. saved me from protein overload it's like an amazing deep conditioner moisturizing deep conditioner and um does not have glycerin in it so love okay. this and we have an oldie but a goodie from the Dark and Lovely collection, All Natural. That's the line. And this is Anti-Shrinkage Clumping Curl Clay Cleanser. So this is from the Clumping Curl. When they did that a few years ago, they did this. And then they came out, which was in the other video as well. Mm -hmm. um, their styler. But this is their clay cleanser, which ultimately is their um, co-wash. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I don't have to push it to the top because you can't really see that. It's not there at the top. All right, so co-wash. I love it. I love the way it smells. And it's just a very good all-around co-wash. All right. And, and lastly, from Talia Wahid, the green apple and aloe with coconut, the nutrition shampoo. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And we have its friend, its styler, in the other video. But okay. um, this does not have glycerin in it. So yeah. this I love is that line. It smells very good. And they have like a, a very lightweight spray leave-in, mm -hmm. but that didn't make the other line. So apparently that has glycerin in it, but I just love the line. And then they came out with a gel and we never got the gel. So we don't know if it has glycerin in it or not. So anyone who has the gel, let us know if it has glycerin. Let us know. But these are our offerings. These are our offerings. To kick off the summer. To kick off the summer. So mm -hmm. now you have a little list of shampoos, conditioners, co-washes, and treatments. Mm -hmm. And then our other videos, we have two different videos of um, glycerin-free stylers, um, gels, conditioners, leave-ins, uh, curling creams, all that mm -hmm. in those videos. So, um, yeah. I don't know what else we can do with glycerin-free. I, I don't know. That's about it. But if you guys know, let us know. Let us know. Because so, yeah. like we said in the other video, what we're trying to do is reach 20,000. We never really kind of like had goals for this channel and we just enjoy it so much and so we just feel like like we want to do more for you guys and i think it gets you guys excited when sometimes you're like you guys deserve so many subscribers so we hear you we're definitely going for it now and we need your help doing that and so now we're going to start adding at the end after we bring you content after we bring you after content. we bring you content to see that we're worthy we're asking you to comment like and subscribe our videos from now on out and, um, and please watch them through to the commercials kind of um run all, right. all this doesn't sparkle Almost for free. free. <laughs> <laughs> That's what our favorite drama channel said. Okay. Doesn't sparkle for free. Yeah. So um. Yeah. So we need to. And somebody said the other day, "Thank you for saying that because um, it makes me re like it makes me remember, which is true. If I don't hear it, I'll be so absorbed in a video from another YouTuber that if they don't say it, it doesn't drive my memory. Yeah. So um, I'm glad that somebody said that they weren't offended by it. I hope you guys aren't offended that we asked that. And um, that's what okay. we're doing now because we're trying to get to twenty thousand. Alrighty. All so thank you so much for watching this video and we shall see you in our next video. See you in our next video. All right. Bye.